all right hello everyone good day and welcome to our free webinar on snail farming i am so excited to have you all here thank you so much for joining me now today we're going to be talking about how to start snow farming business and start earning in six figures in this year 2023 okay now get your pen and your paper handy so that you can jot down any questions you might have so you ask those questions at the end of the training and get answers to them all right now let us meet your coach who is this person that is talking who is this my name is mary magdalene igbane Finama. But you can just call me Mary. <laughs> Forget about those big names. You can just call me Mary. I'm the founder of Megtes Enterprise. I'm a wife and a mother of two lovely daughters. Okay? I own a Facebook page and a YouTube page that is dedicated for my farming business. So they are called Megtes Snail Farm. I deal majorly on sale of snails in bags and pieces. Okay, I sell my own formulated feeds. I sell calcium. I, I engage in setting up of greenhouse systems for both my mentees and for others, all right? I'm into consultation. I do trainings, etc., etc. Now, I have trained well over 380 persons through my mentorship program just this year, 2023, okay? I am so passionate about teaching people this topic, and that's because um, snow farming has made it quite easy for people to make money without being fraudulent, without being dubious. Now, there is a saying that goes um, that, goes that uh, in our schools, agriculture was made to be optional, but English was a compulsory subject. Now, what we have is graduates who can speak English everywhere, but they don't have food. <laughs> it's funny, right? But that is the truth. Right now, I heard um, agriculture has been inco incorporated into the academic system as a compulsory subject. It is the, it's one of the best things the, the, they have done in our educational system. Because you cannot say a country, a whole country is making agriculture uh, as a topic or as a subject to be optional. Because a producing country, a country who is th that is into production of food or livestock, cannot be said to be uh, hungry, cannot be said to be broke, cannot be said to be poor. Because you see everyone getting involved with one ag aspect of agriculture or the other. And that's what the aim of this training is all about. Getting people to start producing from one aspect of agriculture or the other. All right? So that's a brief introduction about your coach now let me tell you a little about what you're going to learn before the end of this free webinar now you're going to learn what and what you can make like the amount of money that can be earned from snow farming i will tell you the a to z of snow farming now what do i mean by a to z of snow farming i mean the different species of snails that are available some of you might not know that we have different different species now you're going to learn all of that now you would find out if snail farming is for you like am i supposed to be going into snail farming before the end of this webinar you would know that for yourself now there are different houses um different houses that we call snail pens that are available for snail farming you will learn all about all that you learn about the uh, different the benefits of snail slime extraction you will learn about the value of snail slime and snail meat both locally and internationally how much can i sell snails in nigeria how much can i sell, sell snails in the international market you will learn all about that before the end of this webinar now requirements for snail farming what and what do you need to start up and to scale higher in snail farming you will learn all about that now setting up a snail farm on a budget this one is my most favorite because I have a lot of people who want to start snow farming and capital is their issue. So how to start snow farming on a budget is one thing you're going to learn in this webinar. Now, there are also other ways that you can make money from snail business. Okay, what are those other things that I can make money from through snail business? You will learn all about that in this webinar. Now, you might be asking, why should I listen to this woman? Well, first and foremost... I have over five years experience in snail farming. So when I talk about snail farming with you, you will know it is not just something I started yesterday. It is my full-time job. It is what takes care of majority of my bills. 
as you already know, I'm a married woman. My husband does the bulk work, but you know now, we women, <laughs> our money is always our money. All right, that is just by the way. Anyways, so that is that. I do bulk sale and I do uh, small uh, scales as well. Now, for as at currently this moment, I sell well over 3,500 to 4,500 snails every blessed month. That's just for me. And I also help my mentees to sell off their snails. I don't just train you and leave you by the wayside. I train you and I hold you by the hand until you start selling your snails. So most people, their problem in snail farming is how to sell their snails or where to sell their snails. I have solved that for you as well. Mary has solved it for you. So that is no longer a problem. And you can sell both here in Nigeria and make Naira. Or you can sell outside this country and start making dollars. You all know what the currency exchange rate is. <laughs> Don't dull on this. <laughs> so that's one of the things that you, that, that's one of the reasons why you need to listen to me. Because I'm not just talking from, um, I'm not just talking from discussions. I'm talking from experience. It's what I do. All right. Now, there are some reasons why people find it difficult to go into snail farming. What are those reasons? Number one lack of adequate training lack of adequate training of the snail farming process now if you don't have a good training about the snail farming business you will flop like you would regret why you even started in the first place this is a business it's not just a hit and run thing it is a lifetime business that can sustain you and your family and you can even pass it down to your children so there is no point joking with it and the, the majority of the bulk work relies mostly on when you're getting the training. Because after the training, there is nothing much to do again. All right? So one of the reasons why people don't succeed uh, or find it difficult to start snail farming is that they don't have the adequate knowledge. They don't know how well to start this. Another reason is that they think it is difficult to get buyers. Or in fact, they don't know where to get buyers. Which is one of the reasons why I solve the issue of buyers for my mentees. All right. Now, the third reason why people find it difficult to start snail farming is lack of finance. So, do you know what I did? I did a training on how you can start snail farming on a budget. Okay, so, so capital is no longer your issue again. You can start it on a budget. You see that small capital you have? Tell me. We'll, we'll fix it up and you will start with that small capital and you'll be amazed the amount of money you start making from that small capital. Now, the last on this our list is lack of patience. Lack of patience. Patience, it's a virtue, they say. But in, in snow farm business, patience is not just a virtue. It is a highly recommended commodity that you need to have, a quality that you need to have. Because for you to grow your snails from um, from the, the current state they are or from hatchling to maturity, you, it needs time. Now, talking about maturity, in every organism, we have what we call physiological maturity and sexual maturity. Now, a sexually mature snail is a snail that is ready to start laying eggs for you. And a physiologically mature snail is a snail that is big enough, both physically, physically big and about a uh, big in size and shape now a sexually mature snail that can lay eggs for you in snails they attain that sexual maturity between the ages of six months seven or eight months so you cannot say that you're going to snail farming today and in next month you've started making money no that is why patience is required you need patience for this business okay you need to involve patience now for physiologically mature snails they attain that age from 12 months to 18 months. All right? So it is not just something you do today, today. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It is not something you put 50000 today and tomorrow you're making 100000 That's a Ponzi scheme. And such businesses don't last, as we all know. Okay? This is a business that will serve you for a lifetime, like I said. So patience is not just a virtue. It is a highly required uh, attribute that you need to have as a snail farmer so you can succeed in it. And that's one of the difficulties that people have in starting up a snail farm, lack of patience. Now get into the business of the day. What is snail farming? Now snail farming is professionally called elisiculture. 
um, but I want you to forget about all this big English. Elisiculture just simply means the process of rearing and breeding of snails, mostly for commercial purposes. Now, this process involves the cultivation and management of snails in a controlled environment, meaning the snails will not be allowed to move around the way they like. Okay, you are producing um, a shelter for them that they will stay in and it has to be confined. Now, those shelters, we call them snailry or pen. So anytime you hear someone say a snail pen, they are simply referring to a snail house. Now, the process of rearing and breeding of snails is mainly for the purpose of food. All right. It's mainly for the purpose of food and then for you to sell it to cosmetic companies and pharmaceutical industries. Now, what do the cosmetic industries use this thing for? Mostly they buy the slime to produce creams, creams that fade away, stretch mark, acne, a lot of other things. Now, snail, snail slime is used for such things. Somebody who is involved in snail farming is called a snail farmer. Okay, before now, while we we're much younger, we thought it is those people who go into the bush to pick snails that are called snail farmers. No, it is somebody who is involved in captured snary that is referred to as a snail farmer so you that is here that is about to start snail farming business you are a snail farmer okay all right so let's move on now we have two types of snail farming we have the intensive system and the semi-intensive system again forget about the big english intensive system simply means a system where you can do snail farming indoors okay you can do it at your veranda you can do it in a spare room in your house so long as there's enough ventilation you can do it in a bucket a basin a drum a tire a basket any of this uh these um these that i just mentioned you can use for intensive system of farming and you can start your intensive system of farming with as little as thirty thousand naira. yes with 30k you can start 50k 100k uh, on 50k you can start with this intensive system now the semi-intensive system is the direct opposite of the intensive system so it simply means outdoor farming large-scale farming all right now this semi-intensive system is the process of rearing and breeding of snails mostly for large commercial purposes okay and the minimum you can start this is with about 500k okay you can even do it with up to 10 million naira, depending on the scale with which you want to start with. Like you all know, every business has the small scale, medium scale, and the large scale. So for snow farming, you can start small and grow it big, or you can start big and just keep scaling, depending on the available capital that is at hand in your hand. Okay. So that's basically the two types of snail farming that we have, the intensive and the semi-intensive. Now, what, let's talk a little about the basic requirements for snail farming. What and what do you need to succeed as a snail farmer? First of all, to establish yourself and to succeed as a snail farmer. Number one, proper training. I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to be properly trained. Every day I keep getting comments and questions from people and can i just buy 100 snails and start and can i just buy 200 snails and start oh can i just buy this one and start no this is a business this snail farming is a business and you don't just put your money into something without getting proper knowledge about it and this is livestock meaning if you're not careful you can be losing them these are breathing stock it's not pants it's not uh, clothes it's not a uh, air that will not get spoiled right meaning you need to get trained properly before you get into it and the next on our list is appropriate housing for your snails you cannot just buy your snails and keep them scattered in your house you have to put them in an appropriate environment which is the snail pens that we talked about now the next one is a suitable soil there is a suitable soil for snail farming you cannot just use any kind of soil and there is no snail farming that is complete without the use of soil. You cannot do snail farming without soil. And you cannot do snail farming with just any kind of soil. Okay? So all this requires you getting properly trained. And not just getting the soil, you need to properly sterilize it as well. The next thing is for 
for you to get their diet in right. Most of you don't know, but snails are vegetarians. So majority of the food that they uh, consume must be vegetables, vegetable fruits, and then calcium rich supplements. Now, calcium has a whole lot of benefits to snails. It makes the, the snails to grow big and strong. It makes the snails to, to uh, not go whitish. Okay. It also enables the snails to lay more eggs for you. Those All those are benefits of calcium being given to your snails. And any snail that is calcium deficient, it will be obvious on them. Those snails will not be growing very well. So these are the diets that you need to give your snails. These are some of the basic requirements that are needed for you to succeed as a snail farmer. Now, the last but not the least requirement is patience. Yes, patience, commitment, determination, desire, however you want to put it. But most importantly, patience, right? You need patience in this business. Reason being that snails are slow growing animals. They are slow growing animals that require time for them to grow to maturity before you sell. Now, talking about maturity, we have what we call in every organism, we have what we call the um, sexual maturity and the physiological maturity. A sexually mature organism is an organism that is old enough to start reproducing, but that organism might not necessarily be big physically. All right. And for snails, their sexual maturity starts from the age of six months seven months to eight months that's when their um sexual maturity age begins meaning from three four five six well, from three four five months your snail cannot give birth your snails cannot reproduce all right then for the physiological maturity an organism is physiologically mature when that organism is physically big both in size and shape however you want to put it okay so Patience is needed. It is not a business where you put money tomorrow and then, uh, sorry, you put money today and tomorrow you are earning money. This is not a Ponzi scheme. It is a real-time business that will last you for a lifetime. Okay? So these are some of the basic requirements you need as a snail farmer and for you to succeed in this business. You need to have patience. Now let's talk a little about some facts about snail farming that you need to know as a beginner in this there are some things that are flying around that I need to disprove. I need to shake those tables. <laughs> now, as a snail farmer who is starting, uh, who is just beginning his journey, you need to know that truly snail farming is highly profitable. Emphasis on highly. It is highly profitable. And that's because the demand is quite high, both in Nigeria and in other parts of the world, like Portugal, France, Italy, Spain, they are highly sought after. And you all know the law of supply and demand. When something is highly sought after, it is it gets uh, the price get, uh, keeps rising by the day. Right now, a point of lace snail, which is about six, seven, or eight months, goes for about 600 naira. And then a physiologically mature snail, which is from 12 months to 18 months, goes for nothing less than 1,500 to 1,800 naira. But that is before you even export it. Now, the next on uh, on our list for facts about snail farming that you need to know is that you don't need to register with NAVDAC or with uh, Standard Organization of Nigeria or even with the Nigerian Export Promotion Council before you can export your snails. You don't need to register with any of these organizations or bodies before you can export your snails. And exporting your snails to uh, foreign countries and earning in dollars is the major deal. These same snails that are being sold, uh, the jumbo sizes, the physiologically mature snails that are being sold for 1,500 or 1,800 here in Nigeria can be sold for nothing less than $3 or $4 in the international community. And one dollar right now is about 900 naira. So you do the mathematics and see what you're selling one big snail for. So the, the market is just so wide and you need to know it. Now, another fun fact about snail farming for you to know as a beginner is that you don't need much capital. Meaning you can start small. So for those of you who capital has been your issue, it is settled. Okay, you can start small. Now, you can also start snail farming as a part-time business. That's another fun fact. That is how yours truly, that's how I started. Okay, I started it and I was still working. 
I was working in a company and I was doing snail farming by the side. Okay? Not until I left the job and focused on it. So it does not necessarily mean that you need to quit your job. No, no, not at all. You know why? You only feed your snails once in a day. And that once in a day is in the evening. Let's say by 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. That is the only time you feed them. So you can go to work, come back by 4, eat your dinner, relax, take your bath, take a, take a nice rest before you go out to visit your snails and feed them. So you have all the time in the world to do snail farming. So those are some fun facts that you need to know about snail farming. Next, we're going to be talking about the species of snails that we farm around this part of the world. Number one on our list is the Achatena marginata. Some people call it Achatena marginata. Some call it Achatena marginata. They are all the same. But we popularly call it the AM. So if you don't want to pronounce anything long, you just call it AM. Now, these AM snails give you from uh, between 40 to 80 eggs every breeding season. One snail will produce nothing less than 40 to 80 eggs every breeding season now there is something that happens in snail farming um they have a mortality rate okay now as they produce this much nature also has a way of curbing their excesses by the mortality rate minimum about 20 percent but the good thing about it is even if you're starting this business with about 100 snails that 100 snails giving you 80 80 uh, eggs that's like 8,000 snails so even if 20% of that 8,000 uh, is lost uh, to mortality, you still have well over 6,400 um, snails. So imagine selling those 6,400 snails for even if it's just 1,500 for one. You know what you have gotten. Do you understand? So that's one of the uh, species of snails we have. And this is the one that we farm here in Nigeria. Then the next on our list is the Elix Espasa. We call it the garden snail. This one is not is not farmed uh, around this area because it does not grow big. It doesn't grow big at all. I've not even seen anybody uh, going into farming with this snail. But it's rampant all over your even your compound. But people don't farm it because people don't buy it. All right. Now this one gives you about three hundred and fifty to four hundred eggs every year, every breeding season. Next on our list is the Achatena Achatena. Like I said, some people call it the Akatena. Whichever way you call it, we call this one the AA. And this one is predominantly farmed in Ghana. For some reason, this one does not survive too much in Nigeria. Some people have tried bringing it to Nigeria. Even a mentor of mine in snail farming has gone to Ghana to bring some. I think he brought about 1,000 snails. And in less than like two months, he lost virtually everything. He didn't even know why they were dying, but they were just dying. But they survived very well in Ghana. Okay, so that's the AA for you. And they lay as much as 600 to 800 eggs. And they, their mortality rate is also higher. If you're farming the AA, uh, the AA, even in Ghana, you can lose as much as 50% of the snails. But because of the high rate, even the one that is remaining is still far more than what you need. Now, the next one and the final one that we're going to be talking about this evening is the AF. We call it the Achatena Folica. This one lays up to 800 to 1,200 snails every breeding season. This one lays more than any other snail. This one is also farmed here in Nigeria, but the, it's quite delicate. So, people go more for the AM because AM is quite easy to maintain, quite easy to rear. Okay, the, the AF also grows big, but it takes time for it to even attain uh, the sexual maturity or the physiological maturity. It takes longer time, unlike the AM. So that's that for the um, different species of snails that we have and that you can farm in this part of the country. Now we're going to be talking about ways that you can earn money from snail farming. What are the ways? How do you earn money? I've been talking about the millions that you can get from snail farming. How do you earn? Number one way to earn is to sell your snails at point of lay. And mostly to intending snail farmers. People who are going into snail farming, they, they are the ones that buy point of lay. 
now snail farming already requires a lot of time so to cut short the time you it is better snail farmers start with point of lace which is the ones that are uh, sexually mature enough to start laying eggs for them any moment from when they start because if you buy younger ones it will take you months before they start laying eggs for you all right so that's that the second on our list is selling raw table size snails to market women now this market women buy in bags if you have just one market woman that is that is patronizing you alone that in fact you will be calling other snail farmers to help you meet up with the demand because you will not be able to meet up with their demand they buy in large quantity and that is why if you go to the market today you barely see big snails because these people are always in in demand for these snails so snail farmers don't have the opportunity to rear their snails till maturity they sell off at young ages all right now the next one number three is selling different sizes in bags to retailers not just the market women there are people that all they do is buy snails in bags from snail farmers and sell to companies to food processing companies or they buy from you and they export okay and they, those people also buy in bags all right then another process is by you supplying factories or food processing companies like i said both here in nigeria and to the international community you can also sell your snail slime to cosmetic companies i don't know if i've said it before but snail slime right now one liter of snail slime goes for a whooping sum of twenty-five thousand naira. yes one liter of snail slime okay now you can also sell washed and dried snails both here in nigeria and internationally you wash them you dry them either oven dry them or air dry them anyhow you want to do it you package them and then ship them abroad for sales and make your cool dollars now believe me now is the best time you need to be earning in dollars but the truth of the matter is even if you're selling here in nigeria you're still making bulk money okay now another way you can be making money from snail farming is having an agent who will sort out contracts for you and then you pay the person based on commission you can say okay any um kilo uh, any kg that you sell this is what you have any metric tone you sell this is what you have any bag you sell this is what you have depending on your negotiation with the agent that is what it is done uh, that is how it's done because you cannot go online and start looking for um for snail buyers in international market all the time you can actually get this agent that would find the uh, clients for you and you pay them based on commission but if you want to do it yourself too it is quite easy all right so those are some of the ways you can earn money doing snail farming all right now next on our list we're going to talk about how you can start this snail farming you've heard a whole lot you've heard of how you can make money from it you've heard of the kind of money you can make from it but how do i start you might be asking yourself Number one, I'm going to just list them accordingly. Number one, get properly trained. Like I said, I cannot emphasize this enough. Proper training is the first step. That is the first step. Now, number two, set some money aside. Your capital that you want to start with, set it aside. Number three, build an appropriate housing for your snails. Because like I said, you cannot just bring them and drop them around your house. There has to be a proper housing system, which you will learn about okay from my mentorship now next thing you install sprinklers for watering of the soil that one is specifically for greenhouse system you know about greenhouse system when we talk about the uh, different houses that we have all right now you get the suitable soil we've already talked about the soil you treat that soil now you treat what we call mulching materials and these mulching materials are dry plantain or dry banana leaves they, they serve a whole lot of purpose in snow farming and you cannot do without them, okay? Next, number eight, you plant in vegetation in your greenhouse system because for the greenhouse system, it is giving the snails a habitat that looks like their normal forest habitat, okay? They don't feel like they are caged. They feel like they are in the wild moving about by themselves, but you, you actually cage them. So this uh, planting of vegetation is mainly for the greenhouse or free range system then installing of feeding racks this is also for the greenhouse system before you even talk about purchasing of your breeders 
breeders are your startup stock okay the snails that you want to start your stock with those points of lace those are the ones we call breeders so after setting all of this from number one down to number nine then you purchase your breeding stock then next you purchase formulated feed and formulated uh and calcium rich supplements like i said you cannot do without calcium as a snail farmer you can't trust me when i say you cannot you can't so calcium is a necessity okay um let me introduce you to my community i have a community okay a community of farmers when you go through my mentorship program you get into my community and in my community currently i have well over 380 persons that have gone through my training just in this year 2023 alone and they have a lot of wonderful things to say about my training now this my mentorship comes with a lifetime support and assistance my mentorship is until you start making money i don't just train you and leave you no i train you and i follow you up until you start making money from this business before my work is done okay and you can be one of these community members you can be a part of my community uh, of farmers today by joining my mentorship program now the name of my community is mectes millionaire farmers i call them mectes millionaire farmers because everyone in my community is a potential millionaire even if you're starting your snail farm with 50k you're starting your 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 snail farm with 100k counting the millions is the goal and snow farming enables you to achieve that goal in a short period okay in in like 12 to 18 months you have started counting your millions trust me we're not exaggerating these things you can try it out in fact go online and search in fact ask questions how much can one make from snow farming you would get the drift okay now about my community in my community you get a lifetime support like i said now, being in my community also attracts discounts. When you're buying snails from me, right now I sell point of lace for about 600 naira. But when it is members of my community, definitely there is a discount. Also, if you're buying calcium, there is a discount. All right. In my community, I refer my mentees to buyers. Like I said, I don't just train you and leave you. I also help you sell your snails. And that's because the demand for snail from me, I cannot meet that demand alone. A host of people, a lot of people, both offline and online, already know me as a snail farmer. So they contact me to buy their snails. Sorry, to, to buy snails from me. And since I cannot meet up with all their demands, I start sorting out from my mentees from all over the country. I start sorting uh, breeding, uh, stocks from my mentees and supplying those people. So I help my mentees to sell off their mature snails as well. All right. Now, in my community, you can team up as a group and do group exports. Okay, you can do group exports. You can even join my own export program and do group export with me. All right. And you can also get uh, connected with other snail farmers because being in that community enables you to connect with other people who have gone through my training before. Now, let's assume you are somebody from the from the east. Okay, now there, there are other people who are from the north. Let's use Mediguri for an example. Now, somebody contacts someone who is in the east that, ah, I want to buy snail. Where can I get it? How do I get it? And he's like, ah, um, how many do you want? I want 1,000 pieces. Oh, what I have is not up to 1,000. I have just 100 pieces. So, okay, let me direct you to another of my friends who is in the same training group with me. He stays in Mediguri as you. In, you see how connection has come. It's as simple as that. In our community, we help each other grow. That's the goal of this community. We help each other grow in this business. We don't just leave ourselves after training. All right? That's one of the good things that people love about my training. And people prefer my training to any other training platform because I don't just train you and leave you. I train you and I still hold you by the hand and mentor you till you start making money. Now, who are the kind of people that can join this my community? And like you know, joining my community means you are taking part in my mentorship. All right. Now, if you're a student, you're a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad, whichever one you are, or you're a retiree looking for 
something else to be doing with your with your spare time or you are a businessman or woman or maybe you're just somebody who is looking for uh, another source of income or you just look you're just looking for a sustainable source of income that would serve you for a lifetime snail farming is your answer okay because snail farming is not a hit and run business it is not a business that you do today and then by next year you're having issues no 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 it's a business that you can do and live for your children's children is as simple as that i'm not exaggerating i tell you like i said go and do your findings just type something online and you will see the amazing results about snow farming you will know that it is not being exaggerated when it says that there is a lot to be earned from snow farming now some of my uh, mentees who have gone through my trainings have very lovely lovely things to say i'm just going to take a few of them this is one of my mentees from potter court he says uh, he, he snapped some of his snails, his snail eggs, and sent to me. He said, my big snails lay bigger eggs. I'm even surprised that snails lay such eggs. Now, maybe he didn't really take my word for it when the training was going on until he bought the snails from me, and then they started laying their eggs. Now, he said, Madam Mary is the best lecturer I have ever met. If all lecturers are like her, when it comes to teaching, I think 90% of students will not involve themselves in exam malpractice. I pour out my heart when I want to teach you. Okay, I give you all of my knowledge and that's the simple truth. I don't keep anything, um, I don't leave any stone unturned. Now, this is one of my students from Edo State. He says, uh, good morning. I am one of your students from Edo State, Benin City. I can say that one of the good that happened to me this year is by coming in contact with you. I have come across teachers, but you are different. You are too much. The way you explained everything to us, even a layman can understand it. You poured out every of your knowledge about snail farming to us without reserving any. Yeah, not minding the little amount we paid. People like you is what we need in our schools, organizations, etc. in this Nigeria. You are the best. I give you 95%. God bless you and your household. Thank you so much, ma. I thank you too. Now, that is just the simple truth. I don't leave any stone unturned. Okay? You, you'll be surprised the kind of questions people ask. And then when I answer their questions, it's like some of them are even testing me. They want to know if I will answer because some questions will be sounding very dumb. But I don't mind. That's because I don't, I don't know the background of anybody. I take my time to tell you everything you need to know. Uh, this is one of my students from, um, from Kogi State. Her name is Sarah. Uh, she, sorry, this one is Wale Peter. He says, your teachings are 100% and I have learned a lot uh, this while. May God continue to increase you in strength and wisdom. My trench is under construction anyways. Uh, and looking forward to purchasing my point of lace. God bless you. Now, these are just a few. And for the sake of time, I might not be able to take everything. This is the Sarah I was about talking about. Okay, Sarah says, I am grateful for the way you were calm in teaching us. My testimony is that my snail eggs have started hatching presently. I now have seven baby snails, but I lost one to death. More are still hatching. You are really good. Thank you. That definitely some will die. Okay. Some will die. But the ones that will be remaining will even be more than enough for you. Okay. This is the final one. I'm just going to take this one from uh, Engineer Olabisi. Now, Engineer Olabisi says, good afternoon, everyone. I, I want to appreciate Coach Mary for our relentless efforts towards us to achieve our goal in snow farming. Yes, Coach Mary is a good teacher, is, is an understatement. She is an excellent teacher. She explained everything about the snow farming to us, and I give kudos. Secondly, she is honest and trustworthy. When I booked for my snows and I transferred 69,000 naira to her from Ibadan, he is from Ibadan, here without knowing each other, and she delivered even when there was a delay due to the heavy rain at, at that time. She made sure at all costs I received my snails. Thirdly, the issue of mentoring. The, the issue of mentoring, she is excellent. 
any any time I call or chat to uh, chat her to ask questions, she always answers. Resp uh, she always respond. So to me, I give her excellence in all aspects. Now, when this uh, engineer Labisi ordered for his snails, what he did not even know was that uh, he he, even apart from the rainfalls, I also uh, my my immediate younger sister lost her husband as at that time. But I had to tell my girl, my assistant, to go and do the supply. But the rain, because of the rain and because she was the only one doing the supply, we couldn't make the supply that very day. But the next day, first thing the next day, the supply was done. And he was so happy. So that has been the testimony of all of my mentees that buy snails from me. And your own testimony will be the next in this list, okay? Okay, let's move forward. We're about rounding up this introductory class. Like you already know, this is an introductory section, meaning this is just a tip of the iceberg. Now, what and what do you need to join this, my training? Number one, you need to have patience and be ready to learn. I've heard people say things like, can you just uh, simplify? Can you just highlight? Can you just, can you just? No, I cannot just. <laughs> you need to learn. Okay, this is a business. It's not a hit and run. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Okay, that's one thing you need to know. It is pure business, so it requires your time. I think the most time that is needed in snail farming is even the training process. Because like you already know, you only feed these snails once in a day. And it's in the evening. So it is the training process that you need time. You need to put in your best and get all the knowledge that is required. The, the last thing you need is that you need to be ready to implement everything you learn from this training. Now, there's one thing to learn something. There's one another thing to implement. If you don't implement what you have learned, it's as good as you have not learned anything at all. So be ready to implement all that you learn from this mentorship program. Now, let's talk about the things that you're going to learn from this training. This training is full, is value-packed, is fully loaded, I tell you. Number one on this list, I when I tell you that I will teach you the A to Z of snail farming, I am not joking and I'm not lying. What will I be keeping this knowledge for if not to help humanity grow? All right. Now, number one on this list is how to start snail farming on a budget. Because I don't want uh, startup capital to be the reason why people are not doing snail farming. Okay, so that is what you'll be learning. Now, you will learn how to extract snail slime. You know that snail slime I talked about that is sold uh, 25,000 naira per liter. You will learn how to extract it. Now, every aspect of my training is in videos, making it quite easy for everyone to understand. You understand it because I put it to as simple as a layman's understanding. Anyone can understand my training. Now, you will learn about the recommended feed and drink items for snails. You will know what to feed your snails with. You will know how to properly feed your snails, the type of food that you need to give them to make their shells grow big, to make them grow stronger, to make them lay eggs. You will learn how to not just give them the food, but how to prepare the food as well. Now, you also learn how to start a snail farm at home or on a, on a, uh, on a farmland. Maybe you're getting a land, you're getting, uh, you're starting at the back of your house, you're starting at your veranda. You will learn how to do all of that in this My Mentorship Program. Now, how do you breed your snail eggs? After they lay their eggs, how do you breed them? How do you incubate your eggs without an e equipment? I will teach you how to incubate your eggs properly without any equipment. Okay? Now, the different ways that you can properly sterilize your soil. Like I said, there are different ways to sterilize both your soil and the mulching materials. I'm going to tell you my best one. The best one, the one I use for both me and my mentees. I'm going to tell you that one. How to sterilize it properly. Now, how to take care of your baby snails. After the snails have laid their eggs, you have properly incubated them and the eggs have hatched. How do you take care of these young ones? Because they are quite delicate as at that time. So how you take care of them, you will learn all about that, right? Now, where and how to obtain the right species to start your snail farm with? Because you cannot just buy any and any snail. You, are, you can't just start your snail farm with any and any snail because you would be sorry if you do that. There is a specific place, there are specific snails that you need to start snail farming business with. You will learn all about that as well. Now, you will learn how to identify common snail health issues and how you can treat those snails. 
For now, there is no known sickness of snail, but we know when a snail is not feeling fine and we know how to treat those snails. So I'm going to teach you all of that. How you know if your snail is not feeling fine so that you will know how best to properly take care of that snail. Now you will learn um, how to identify the benefits of snail slime. You will learn how to remove or extract that snail slime at home using just two ingredients. Two ingredients that you can find in your kitchen. You will be surprised. Now you will know how to use condemned oil and water to ward off snail enemies, snail predators, all these ants, millipede, centipede. You will know how to use um, engine oil, condemned engine oil and water to keep all these things away from your snail pen because they are quite dangerous to snails. Now, you will learn how to identify common snail elves, like I said before. Now, the different types of snail houses that are available, you will learn all of them. We have the arch boxes, we have the concrete pen, we have the greenhouse system, we have a tire system, buckets, drum. You will learn how you can use and because you cannot just pick a drum, put your soil, put your snail and then start using. No, no, no. There is a process. So you will learn all of that. You will learn the detailed step-by-step -step training on how to construct any of the housing system that you want to go into. All right. Now, where to obtain the right species, I've talked about that. You will learn all about that as well. Now, that's not all. I still have more. In this training, all those who are um, taking advantage of this mentorship program, I have some sweet, sweet bonuses for you. Number one on the list is that you will have my free ebook. Now, I sell this ebook for about 9,000 or 9,500, but I'm going to be giving to you for free if you're joining my mentorship program. For all those that are joining my mentorship program, this ebook will be given to you for free. All right. Now, you have access to my community, as I've already said before where you uh, attain more knowledge, you get to meet more people, you get to uh, receive my support for life, all right? Now, another thing, another bonus for this mentorship is that you get a free business plan. How much do you have? How do you want to start this business? Where do you have? What kind of space is available? You tell me that and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to start up. It's a free business plan that I offer all my mentees. So some persons might say, okay, I have 50,000 naira. So where do I start from? Don't worry yourself. I know how to prepare your business plan for you to make it easy, easy peasy for you. All right. Now, one other thing you're going to get is the other ways that you can make money consistently from snail business. Yes. It's not just in breeding and rearing of snails. There are other ways you can make money from uh, snail business. And you're going to be learning all of that. I will give you that for free. Now, um, there's another bonus opportunity for you to do group exports with me and other of my mentees, right? So it, it's not just about, uh, I don't know how to start. No, 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 no. Everything is settled here. You can do, you can decide to do individual exports. You can decide to do group exports with us. You are free. The main uh, goal is, Come here, join us, and be a part of this wonderful um, and uh, exciting community where all we do is help each other to grow. So these are some of the bonuses you will get by joining my mentorship program. Now let's move forward. This training will be for 10 days. Okay. Now it will be hosted both on YouTube and a question and answer session on WhatsApp and on Telegram. All right. Now, this training can be accessed from any part of the world. All you need is an internet enabled phone, a pen and a paper, and you're good to go. OK, now this training, this 10 days training is in three phases. The first phase is a learning and training phase. Now, after that, we enter into the practical session, which is the second phase. Now, in this practical session, we do uh, you will learn DIY steps on how you yourself can construct your pens by yourself and commence actual farming. Like if you can hold armor and nail, you can do it yourself. And the good thing about snail farming is that not all the housing system requires armor and nail. Take for instance the tire system. You just walk up to any mechanic around you and collect tires. They don't even sell it. You can get it for free. All right. Or you have a basin in your house you want to start with. You, or you have a drum or a condemned fridge, or you have a bucket that you can use, you are good to go. 
Do you understand? So let nothing stop you from taking advantage of this gold mine. We call it the noiseless gold mine because like I told you, snails don't make noise. They don't smell as well. So you can do it anywhere. All right. So that's the second phase. The third phase is where I'll be having live sessions with my mentees once every week. We'll have live sessions where you come with your questions, your remark, your uh, your comments, your observations. Because while you start, there are some things that you might be observing that you would want to talk about. We'll treat them as a family. In this community, this community of Mectes Millionaire Farmers, we are a family. We help each other grow. So we have those live sessions once every week. And like I told you before, my support, my mentorship continues till you start making money from snail farming. That is where my work ends. Now, this training is going to include live sessions, like I just told you, personal sessions with my mentees, video trainings, okay, a free ebook, like I've already told you, and a follow up group, both on WhatsApp and on, uh, on Telegram for my trainees, for my mentees, so that you can have access to me 247. Anytime you have anything to talk about, I am there for you. Even if I don't answer you immediately, I would definitely answer you before the day is over. All right? So that is that. Now, moving forward, the worth of this training is well over 50,000. Now, with only what you have heard to you know what is packed in this or you, maybe you might not know, but give it a try and you will say, ah, maybe you saw some of the, um, uh, the remarks one of the, some of my students were saying that for the kind of amount I charge, that what I give is far, far, far beyond what I'm charging. Okay. So I can charge up to 50,000 for this training and it will still be worth it. But don't worry, I'm not charging 50K. Neither am I even charging 30K, even though 30K is by far worth it. Okay, but guess what? You won't be paying 50K, neither will you be paying 30K. But what I would do today is give an opportunity to the first 25 persons who would grab this, this training right now for 15,000 Naira. What did I say? The first 25 persons that would take advantage of this opportunity, I would give you for 15,000 Naira. And after the first 25 persons, price goes back to 20, 25,000 Naira. Okay. The moment the 25 percent are complete, we take it back to 25,000. So please don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this. Don't allow this opportunity to pass you by because you will regret that you didn't take it. Trust me when I tell you from all the testimonies I have gotten from my previous mentees, I know what I'm talking about and I know what I have put into this training. Okay. I know what I'm giving to you. I know what you're getting from this training. You would never regret that you got into this training at all. A trial will convince you. Okay, so for those who are interested in assessing this mentorship program, here are my account details. It's a Mectes uh, Enterprise account. Okay, you pay in the 15,000 Naira. The account, I will drop the account details even in the group as well. So after this webinar, you just go to the uh, WhatsApp group get the account details and make your payment now after making payments send your proof of payment to the group or to my official line the official number is 080-255-39238 okay it's on the screen but i'm just going to take that again for those who want to save the number 080-255-39238 and the moment you send your proof of payment and you're confirmed you will be immediately added to the mentorship program. Like I said, don't, don't allow anything to make you miss this training. <laughs> Trust me, this is one training that, that is here to change your life for the better. You will be glad you came in contact with, with this. So, until we get into the mentorship program, I am so happy. I'm so, so happy. I had a lovely time talking to all of you wonderful people. Thank you for staying till the end of the webinar. Thank you for listening to everything I have to say. And I'm going to see you in the mentorship program. I will take this to the next level so you can start making your own millions as well. All right. So see you all in the mentorship program. I love you all.